Hi, hello everyone, welcome on to my YouTube channel. My name is Jade or the Jade Plant, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use my free Twitch overlays and install them into OBS. So you probably clicked on this video because you've downloaded my free Twitch overlays and you have no idea how to use them, but I'm going to show you how to put them in today. For this tutorial, you're going to need three things. The first thing you're going to need is a working computer. This could be an, a MacBook a regular old laptop, a PC, anything that you're able to run both stream on, whatever stream program you're using, as well as the streaming program itself, such as OBS or Streamlabs. As long as your computer can handle that, you're all good to continue to follow this tutorial um, and the overlay should work just fine. The second thing that you're going to need is a streaming program such as OBS, the one that we're using today, or you can also use Streamlabs. I personally prefer OBS along with many other streamers. OBS does use less CPU than Streamlabs does, so it's way easier on your computer. If you don't have the best beefy computer, you, your computer's not the strongest, definitely go with OBS. Um, if you have a stronger computer and you're not really interested in learning in depth a stream program such as OBS, definitely Streamlabs would be a good choice. That one's a little bit easier to learn. It's set up to be super easy for beginner streamers, so you're welcome to make the choice whichever one you think works best for you. The third thing you're going to need is an overlay. This could be any overlay. I personally make overlays. We will pop it to the next step, which will be on how to download my overlays, but really any overlay, whether it's the one that you built or a different one that you purchased, any of them will work and they should be okay to follow the tutorial as follows. If you don't have overlays picked out yet, this is where you can find all of my overlays. I'll pop some on the screen as well as the link will be in the description. I do have a lot of free ones as well if you're just getting started. But let me show y'all my little site there to start the tutorial. Okay, as you can see, we're on my Ko-Fi site. This is where you can find a ton of free or super affordable overlays. I have animated overlays as well as non-animated. Um, and I have emotes and sub badges as well in here. So I, you don't have to pick in my overlay. The tutorial will work the same for any overlay, but for the sake of this being my tutorial, we're gonna use mine. Okay, so we're gonna pick an overlay. I'm gonna choose Little Tree Frog, personally. This is my newest one. She's really cute. So in order to download this overlay for free, um. You just type in how much you want to pay zero dollars okay we're gonna press get now so this prompt will take you to checkout again since we've selected free the overlay is gonna be free tips are welcome but never necessary okay we're gonna go to checkout and it's gonna download okay and I'm gonna show you what it looks like okay so you've clicked on checkout it takes you to view content and you're able to download all of these individually. Okay. So definitely when you're downloading, it needs to be on a computer. I think that you can do this on an iPad, but I'm, I have never tested it on an iPad personally, but some of my overlays will come like this, where like you can download each individual file or artwork. Some of my older overlays, I used to have to put them as a zip file. The icon will like look something similar to what I have on the screen here. Um, depending on your computer, you'll have to export it or extract it. On a Windows PC, all you have to do is right click it, select extract all, and then press enter or you can retitle it if you want. And it should just turn all of the files into individual ones. I don't know about Mac or Linux or things like that, but definitely a simple Google search, how to extract a zip file and then your software name should do the trick it's super simple i will eventually get updating all of my overlays but for now some of them still are zip files but the vast majority of the new ones all will have like this individually downloadable option so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download all of them um save them in a safe spot in your computer and then just go ahead and locate them on your pc or your computer wherever like your downloads go just to make sure you've downloaded all of them confirm they're all there and none of them are corrupted anything like that then we can move on to the next step okay so now that you've downloaded all of the overlays next thing you want to do 
is you're going to want to download OBS. Now, I've linked it in my bio as well. I've linked the proper um, link in my bio. Of course, you don't want to download from any like weird websites that aren't from Project OBS, but I've linked the real one that I use in my bio. Definitely go give that one a download and then pop back in the video once that's downloaded. Of course, to download, you just go to the website that I mentioned in my bio and you're going to choose either software that you have and then download it. Download it like you would any program for your computer. Okay, so now that you've downloaded OBS, what we're going to do is we're going to just get right into adding your overlays. What we're going to do is we're going to go right down to the bottom. We're going to hit that little check mark. It's at, we're going to add a scene as you can see here, name it, whatever you want, stream starting soon and hit okay. So now that we've created a new scene and we've labeled it what we want right here under sources, there under sources, um, you're going to want to hit the check mark again and that should bring up this prompt. Now, of course, if you're adding an image, you can just press image in this one because it is an animated overlay. I'm going to be pressing media source as it's either a GIF or an MP3 file. So go ahead and click media source. By pressing media source, that will then bring up the prompt for us to label said media source. Um, again, as you're new, I'm sure you're not going to hit add existing because we've never installed this one before. So just title it whatever you want, whatever is easiest for you to find, and then press OK. Now it comes down to actually selecting the file that you're going to want to install. Um, again, this is through media source and you're going to hit browse and go ahead and select whatever file you're wanting to choose, whether it's starting soon. Um, the mp4, the gif, anything you want to add here, import it here. Once you hit browse, again, just because OBS makes everything super easy, it'll just bring up your downloads automatically and you can select the one that you want. Just as an example, again, this is through my Windows computer. Now you should have something that looks like this on your screen. Again, I chose the gif personally, but it looks like this. It'll probably play and then it'll go blank and that's because it stopped playing, but I'm going to show you how to fix it. But as long as you did see the GIF or the image or the MP4 file that you've imported, you, you done it correctly. Let's move along to the next step. So now we want to make our media file a loop so that it will continuously play while your stream is running and it won't stop when the video is over. So what you're going to do is you're going to double click the word that says media source under sources or whatever you named your digital file, double click it and it should bring up this page. Now that you have double clicked the name of your media file, it should bring up this page. Um, once again, this is called like properties and you're going to just select loop. As you can see, I've already selected the little box beside loop. Mine's already looping, but it automatically isn't checked off. So you're going to want to select it and then just hit OK and it'll close the media source file and you should just have your looping video now. So that's pretty much the basics on how to install my stream Twitch overlays onto your OBS program. This tutorial is really similar if you also use OBS Streamlabs, which is another program that you can download. I personally found Streamlabs to be really chunky and hard on my computer. I couldn't stream through my laptop with Streamlabs. It was just too bulky. Um, a lot of people like to call Streamlabs like the starter streamer program, but I think that it's honestly better to just put in a couple hours of time learning how to use OBS. Once you get the hang on it, it's super easy after. Um, so I think that's it for today. I don't think I have any more tips. If you guys have any more questions or you want a tutorial on anything else regarding OBS, I'm more than happy to make more tutorials. Um, just leave any questions or suggestions you have in the comments below. Again, thank you guys so much for your support and watching this video. If you guys did like this tutorial or you did find it helpful, I would love it if you guys could drop the video a like and subscribe to my channel. I also do stream on Twitch. I stream games like Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, Sims 4, and I also do art tutorials on Twitch sometimes. And so if you were ever curious about how I do my overlays or how I draw, I do tutorials over there. And yeah, thank y'all for watching this video and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.
Bye.